game here on third and six. Straight ahead, ETN. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect hey, it hey. on third and five, third hey. and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little hey, courage hey. there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw, Lawrence. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. Now Lawrence. That's caught. It's strange. The tight end. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Now Lawrence on first down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And the Ravens force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand-new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. On second down, here's Lawrence. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And they're going to speed things up here. Third and one, it's Lawrence. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Third down is the down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning. 
taking it. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Going for it. Here's Etienne. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? On first and 10, it's Lawrence. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Offense was moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Again on second and 10, it's Lawrence. Now throw right side, we're gonna be incomplete. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone is in a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here's Lawrence. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defense is because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Now it's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Hey, hey, report. Report. No, we changed it. Fourth down, here's Jackson. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Jags take over in terrific field position. On first down, Lawrence. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Ready? 
and they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Running out of the gun with ETN. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. This will be caught at about the six. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. ETN will get it into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Sometimes offense, if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's Jackson to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Flowers. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. That's good for a Baltimore first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That's going deep for Bateman. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way in for the lane. Touchdown! Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. The Jaguars are going to cover this one up. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams 93% of the time, you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Hey, hey, Officially hey. nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, 
He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. On third down, Lawrence. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. This game, it's been defensively oriented on both sides. So I guess it stands to reason that the play of the game comes on defense. So it's my kind of game. You know that. That's anytime right. we have that's a defensive right. battle. But that, as you said, it stands to reason that's the way the game tilted. Someone had to make a big play. And the way the defenses were dominating, that's exactly what we got. Tucker with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This is first and 10. Lawrence will try again after the pick six. Looking right sideline, that's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Well, he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. They'll come up now on second down. Now Lawrence. A short throw there to Strange, and he's got this down to the 35. I tell you, it has not been his best day throwing the football. He really needs to piece something together here. All will be forgiven if he leads him into the end zone. Here's Lawrence. Man open here is Jones. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. They have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Travis Etienne, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point from McManus is good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Jackson. Connecting with Hill, and he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And it hit 
his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open. There he goes left side. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. That was the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good run there, they're going to take this to about the 10 yard line. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Here's first and goal. No, we changed it. Let's go. Get high. Finish it up. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. As the clock shows, 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Here now, second and goal. From the gun, they go to Edwards. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they take the lead late in the final battle of the fourth. Wow. Connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Agnew, and no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And his throw here is incomplete. The protection really holding up that time. That's what you want in the two-minute drill, but the coverage equally is good. Yeah, I'd say it's protection both sides, right? Get it for the quarterback, make sure you have time to throw the football, and he did. Plenty of time, but nowhere to go with it downfield. So the coverage, as you noted, terrific. Lawrence's throw taken in by Ridley here. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. Lawrence. Because 
he single-handedly ended multiple drives. Interception earlier, sack on third down. Really? Should have a better game plan to stop out to contain him because he's affecting this game in so many ways. Well, on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So that one hurt. No timeouts left. Look at where the ball is on the field, Charles. I I don't know if the fat lady's singing yet, but she's starting to hum a little bit, isn't she? You think she's doing scales at this point? <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about it, but they had to go for it. In this situation, with their timeout situation as well, they had to take the chance, try and get it done. They didn't. Now they're powerless to stop them, essentially. They need a big play somehow from their defense. Down to Anigo's Jackson, and that should seal it. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.